Welcome to the midweek shave, to the Wednesday shave and uh, thank you Mrs H, one of the best displays yet that I love roses and the colours in that, superb and unfortunately I can't smell them, I may sound nasally, um, I've had a, what they call a head cold I think, um, feel alright otherwise, didn't stop me working, nothing like that just a nuisance really, eyes were stinging and nose was like a tap. Um, so, two things, there's going to be a difference, the shave will be shorter in this one, as I'm not shaving here, because this is like Rudolph's uh, red nose, it's, oh and it's so tender. So I'm leaving this here, in this shave, to grow until Sunday, and it'll give my nose a chance to heal a bit. Um, and I'm using a menthol shave. Remember when I've used menthol, I said, oh, if you've got a cold or a blocked nose, use this. Ideal opportunity. Um, and to accompany that good thing, I'm going to use a vintage razor. I'm going to use that for a while. And do you know what that is? A Gillette Heavy Super Speed Red Tip. And this one is a B4 1956, American made. Now they do say it's a non-adjustable uh, it's quite, I think it's the, out of the colour range, they come in different colours. I think the red was the most aggressive, uh, but it's a non-adjustable twist to open. Um, but they do say, uh, I don't know how true it is, I think personally, uh, they say this is the American one, and there was a British one, and they do say the British one was slightly more aggressive than this one, even though they're sort of the same razor. But I think that would depend on you, your beard, your blade, you know. But maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But uh, just so uh, you can see. Oh, the blade is a Wilkinson Sword Gillette. Top there says Wilkinson Sword, a Gillette product. Don't ask. But it's a good blade. Badger brush, Omega Badger brush. I've been soaking. And uh, Ingram, I was going to say shaving cream, but this has gone to liquid. But it's still usable. There we go. Oh yeah, I need a bit of menthol. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. How are you doing? How's your week been? We're halfway through again. And we're nearly, look at this. We're nearly in, um, well, we're in April, but we're nearly uh, into the summer, hopefully. And we've had some fantastic weather. Oh, the sun is shining. Uh, this is... Wait. Oh, I need some of them fumes. This isn't, I was going to use the Phoenix... Uh, Frostbite because that's a strong menthol soap, and um, but I thought I need to use this up. There's not much left in it, and as you can see, this bowl isn't really big enough for this. I should have used my own, but uh, not to worry. There we go. Not far off now. So you've had a good week, I hope. And if you last time, if you were waiting for products, I hope they've arrived. Uh, I've got some on the way, some new stuff. Um, more as, it, uh, as in products, um, some witch hazel and uh, things like that. How's that? We'll try this, it might be a bit too... So, I'll be having a goatee. <laughs> we'll see how we get on, I'll be sick of it. It may have gone before Sunday if I get fed up. Not bad at all. Mm. 
very inexpensive this cream and widely available here uh, and look at that you can't argue with that really it's you know yeah so and I don't don't get colds that often to be fair um, very lucky actually but uh, one thing I did learn off a doctor once um, you have to just run basically you can help a cold you know I use a uh, uh, Vicks Vapor Rub and Alba Soil, um, honey and lemon with water, hot like a le honey and lemon tea. I drink a lot of that anyway. Um, some say eat garlic and all this sort of stuff, little remedies which help you along. But um, a doctor said you'll never ever have the same cold twice or the same virus. Because when you've had a cold, whatever this virus is, particular one, once the cold's gone, your body becomes immune to that virus. Even though you have another cold, same symptoms, it's a slightly different virus. Didn't know that. So, interesting. Anyway, again, it's not a doctor show, it's a... <laughs> nah, it doesn't uh, dampen the spirits. Here we go, I've been looking forward to this and I can... Oh, I feel better already. Now, some say they feel this is aggressive. It is the most aggressive of this range in the colours, but I don't feel it as an aggressive because, you know, when you've used things like Merca Futures and... Um, Mule R41s and that, you, you tend to think these are, you can feel the blade. And that feels a really sharp blade actually. Just on cue again. Alice. Alice? Who the? <laughs> no, it's a family show. Right. Got to be careful how I'm doing this. I don't think you've ever seen me do this before, have you? Right. Very likely good audio feedback. I'll tidy this up as I go along, so I'll just rinse that off there. Probably won't suit me, I don't know. Looks a bit patchy off the in through that lens, but it's it's okay. It's okay. Quite exciting, but I'll get fed up a bit <laughs> quick. I wanna shave. I like shaving, so don't worry. Uh, I'm not turning into Steve Farragher. Who oh, by the way, I hope you're okay if you're watching Steve. I know you're a busy man. And I must go and see Steve. Um, I'd like to ask him if he's uh, if he'd like to come to this meetup. Actually, as I've said many times, if it wasn't for Steve Farragut, I wouldn't be here myself. So you never forget. You never forget the, these things across the growth. <laughs> across the growth. And to go across, we will. Now this soap or cream isn't the thickest it could be. But that's due down to me. Um, if I do it longer, it would um, it would be. I'll add a bit more. Yeah. 
Yeah, so hope you've had a good week and good shaves. Doesn't matter how ill you are, well, for me anyway, this always makes a difference. And seeing and chatting to you, of course. I'm not talking to myself. Well, I am, but I'm not. Double chins, I can't tell you, they're in stock and they sell out as quick as that. Yeah, so uh, it'd be a strange thing this. But as I say, it's only for a few days. Unless it grows on me. It's always the first time. <laughs> Mm. Always a first time. I've hardly used any of this. this. Johnson, go I have a sniff for that. Hey, you got a cold? Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> so, uh, oh, that's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. say I'll tidy up make sure everything's level and all this sort of stuff this may be one of the quickest shaves I've done I don't know so some people might be out there going yes at last <laughs> Thanks again to all who watch and comment and subscribe. Very much appreciated. Um, uh, I do my best to go through all the comments and answer them as much as I can. Um, I may miss the odd one, but it's not intentional. But I do read each one and I'm very grateful for each one. And. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for being there. And as I say, I apologise if I sound nasally. This is a lovely razor. And they do say that these were built when engineering was at its best. Well, the 40s and 50s, wasn't it? it was, uh, when And 30s, because I proved that with the, the ornateness of those razors, single-edged razors, is superb. I tell you, this... Very slick, you know, this. I find it. Very, very slick. Oh, it's going through my... See that? Clearing already. Oh, beautiful. So, if you've got a cold, go for the menthol. Right. Mm. That's not bad for the first attempt. Right, yeah that'll do, so pick up time now at the bottom, and uh, oh, that feels lovely, icy cold, 
beautiful. Ingram, you know, for the price of it, it is quite a good soap and a good, you know, the more passes you do, the colder it gets. Um, it's a really good, but uh, it's not the coldest or most menthol soap. The I think Parasso is a bit stronger. Uh, Douglas Smythe's Frostbite is very strong. There's a few uh, Arctic. Uh, forgot the name it now. Uh, Just a touch there. Good slickness. Rinse off. Oh, wrong one, wrong towel. Better do the right towel. <laughs> And that's another thing, this towel and things will be straight in the wash after I've used it because uh, it will, Mrs H had something last week, a week or two, but um, this will minimise her catching it hopefully then, but um, she doesn't use a lot of my shaving towels anyway. Mm. That's quite good that. Right, Thayer's. Medicated. Here we go. Oh, that's nice and cool, isn't that? On top of the Ingram. Really nice. Go on then. Oh, I feel better already. Honestly, really nice. Hmm. Right, this is gonna, this will be the killer. It's a bottle of Osage Rub. I'm gonna keep it in this. Well, it was sent to me a long time ago in this. Okay. There's something about Vosine hair shampoo in this. It is green. I'm strong. Breathe in, go on. Eyes will be watering in a minute. That's lovely. Lovely. Honestly, if you feel a bit groggy, cold, menthol. Oh, it's beautiful. Menthol, menthol. How's that? Oh, I can feel that now. And, uh, oh, a new, um, well, new to me. I seen this in one of the supermarkets. L'Oreal Men Expert Hydra Hydra Sensitive Soothing Birch Sap um, Post Shave Balm. So I think yeah, Birch Sap's very good for you. Um, in March, those of you that do anything bushcrafty, the first couple of weeks in March. Smells nice. Um, you go to the silver birch and you can what they call tap it, which you drill a hole. Sounds very evasive. Drill a hole into the tree, just in the in the bark, and place a piece of wood or some implement which will allow the sap to drip, because it's very um, it's very thin at that stage, that time of the year, and then um, put it into a container, clean container. And when you've had what you want, you must plug it with 
live wood, good clean live wood, its own wood if you can, and then plug it tight, otherwise it would bleed to death. And then you drink the birch sap. Very, very good for you. Very good for you. And it's said to have a lot of uh, anti-cancer properties in it. Very, you know, so they say. It's a very refreshing drink. And I must film doing that one, one of these years. I keep forgetting. So that's it. See, you've had um, shaving. You've had uh, doctors. And you've had the uh, bushcraft. <laughs> multi show this, oh, multi subject. So, just go over all we've used the beautiful, very overhang to watch. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, Gillette Heavy Super Speed Red Tip 1956 B4. United States of America made, twist to open, non adjustable. Used the Wilkinson sword. Gillette blade, brand new, superb, good combination. You can feel the blade. Uh, me personally, I don't class it as aggressive, but it is the aggressive of the colour coded um, tips, the flare tips. So uh, that's that. The Omega Badger brush. I use the Captain's Choice shaving bowl. Um, Ingram shaving cream and it this one's turned to liquid I don't know the new ones do but it's fine to use if you if you find that you might think it's gone off and it's okay rinse with water Thayer's medicated super hazel superb and then we got a blast out the eyes and the nostrils with the osage rub uh, beautiful stuff one of the strongest menthol colognes or aftershaves I've got and then this new one, that was lovely stuff. That's really nice. Look out for that in uh, the supermarkets. I think I got this one, if you're in the UK, from Tesco, if I remember, but others may sell it. And that is it, a really happy shave from a head cold, feel great. But oh, I didn't feel ill at all, it just, it was a nuisance more than anything. But uh, after that, I feel much better. So hopefully, I won't get attached to this, which I doubt, I think it will come off. Um, there's a few bits here, look. Uh, this is staying till Sunday, and then that's it then. Unless it goes before, you never know. But uh, yeah, thanks very much, and thanks Mrs H once again. Thank you good people for your long support every twice a week. It doesn't go unnoticed, and uh, I, it is very much appreciated. Hope you're having some fantastic shaves, and um, that's it. I'll leave you in peace. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Take care.